Hi everyone, welcome back. So I mentioned in my video that I posted the other day about it being Japanese beetle season and I am having a really hard time combating them. This is the first property I've ever owned that I've actually had Japanese beetles at before. Um, I remember growing up my mom having them and trying to take care of them with those little like green and yellow bags and you like hung them on a stake and something in the bag was supposed to attract the beetles into there. Um, I'm not trying that method this year, um, but I know that we've done that before and I think even just like last year I remember my mom and I picking her raspberries and we were both out there with cups full of soapy water and just picking off the Japanese beetles and putting them in the cup and getting rid of them that way. Um, so I did my research today and started looking up about the life cycle of beetles and how long I can expect for them to be around. So, in some of my other videos, I showed you the larva of the Japanese beetle and how I would just get rid of those immediately when I found them because I know that they stay underground for about 10 months of the year, which is how long it takes for them to actually like become an adult beetle. Um, so I would get rid of those whenever I found them. Um, but now, unfortunately, they're all up out of the ground and wreaking complete havoc on some of my plants. Um, I'm in my back garden now because I just came back to see if there's any back here on any of my tomato plants and I haven't seen any yet thankfully. Um, so I'm going to go up front and show you how I'm going to take care of those ones. Um, I have been using just a cup full of water. It, it was soapy at one point, it's not anymore, and it's literally just full of beetles that I keep finding. And then while I was reading today, I learned that you should not crush them. You shouldn't like step on the beetles, which I had started doing last night because they just kept falling out of the bushes that I was taking them out of. And I read that if you do that, it can actually, like the scent of that can actually attract other beetles, which I definitely don't want to do. Um, so I won't be crushing them anymore. If any drop, I will just pick them up and put them back in my cup. Um, so I'm just going to take one more quick look around my garden just to make sure there's nothing back here. And I don't think they, there is. My, my um, tomato plants look really healthy. And so do my pepper plants. I still have that big pepper there. I mean big compared to just the flowers that are on there. Um, that's going to be a red pepper, I think, or an orange pepper. Um, but I still have flowers growing on my tomato plants, and they look really great and healthy. Um, there are some holes here. These are my pickling cucumbers. There are, there is a little bit of damage on the leaves, but I think they're okay. I don't think there's any beetles on them. This one has a little bit of damage too. Oops. Um, but for the most part they look they look good which I'm happy about and my beans look great too. So I'm really happy about that. I was really worried that I was going to come back here and there were going to be beetles all over the place. So maybe they just haven't gotten this far yet. Um, and hopefully they won't. This leaf has some damage here. This is a, a golden griller squash, a summer squash. And oh my gosh, look, <laughs> there's actually a squash on there. Two of them, three, four. Oh my goodness. How exciting. <laughs> I did not even notice these were here. I knew there were flowers, but I didn't know I had actual squash yet. I am so excited. It's like I'm a little kid on Christmas. That was really exciting. How how exciting. That's awesome. Um, sorry, I just got happy for a minute. Um, just gonna check the lettuce, which the lettuce looks great. And actually, I could probably harvest some of this lettuce by now. This um, this romaine looks great, and this actually looks really good too. Um, I may have to get back here tomorrow night and harvest this. I have to come back and water tonight because we're just not getting the rain that we need. And let's see, my broccoli plant plants look pretty good too. And a couple little holes and I don't see any actual beetles on anything. So 
think we're in good shape. I'm just going to check my cucumber and my watermelon. The watermelon plant looks good. Um, it looks like I'm actually starting to grow a little something there, so that's exciting. I've never grown watermelon before. And my cucumber plant is growing nicely on the trellis. So, I don't know, maybe they're just not attracted to these things, or they just haven't made it back here yet. Oh, look at the little cucumbers. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, I'm so excited. It's really exciting to grow your own food and know that when you want something, you can just come out to your garden and pick it and, and eat it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these cucumbers. Look at them all. And look at all the flowers. Oh, look, it's already wrapped itself around the... The vine. Um, I made some shrimp scampi for dinner tonight and I um, I did go out to my herb garden and grab some parsley to throw in my my dish so it's just I don't know it's just nice to be able to come out and take food that you have grown and prepare it in a meal that you're gonna make for your family so it's really exciting and one more thing I want to show you before we go up front is which I I, would, I was nervous I thought it was gone but my little cocoon guy is still up here here he is I did say the other day I can't wait to see what kind of butterfly it looks like but I'm pretty sure the chances of me actually seeing it hatch from its cocoon are probably very slim to none. I was really lucky that I actually got to see it build its cocoon and that was really cool. Um, oh, you know what else I have? I don't know if I've ever shown you guys. I have grapes. Let me turn you around again. Look at these grapes. Um, I've never grown grapes before. Obviously, they, we had them last year. Um, but I don't don't know how to really properly care for them. I know the man who lived here before said we should spray them. I don't know what we're supposed to spray them with though. Um, but look at them all. They are, they're just a ton of grapes. I didn't even notice there were so many back here. Some way over there. They're just taking over literally everything. Um, now the trick is just getting to them before the birds do. Because, like, we have this beautiful cherry tree, but the birds ate all the cherries. Um, so I think we're actually going to get rid of the cherry tree and the quince tree that we have. And we also have a pear tree, which I can show you before we go up. Sorry, I'm just trying to close the gate. I don't want any bunnies. There we go. We have a pear tree as well. Um, which has some growth on it. Oh, here's a little one that fell off. Little pear. Um, so the neighborhood bunny likes to come out here and is always underneath this pear tree eating all the things that have fallen off of it. So but let's walk up front now and I can show you my plans for trying to eradicate these beetles because they are just really upsetting me. I have this beautiful viney I think it's something, I think I looked it up the other day and it said something about it being some sort of dogwood, like bushy vine, I don't know. Um, it's really beautiful and it's really covered in beetles. They're just everywhere, um, especially along the top, if I can get up there and show you. So this is what they do. There's two right there. This is what they do to the leaves, they skeletonize them. There's another one right here, and they're just eating them. They eat in between all of the veins, and so basically just the veins of the leaves are left, and they've just completely ruined everything up here. And this, this bush or vine or whatever it is smells so incredibly good. It's like this sweet, flowery goodness. Um, but it's just being ruined and I'm really disappointed. I don't remember seeing any beetles last year, but by the time we moved in, they were probably all gone. So the life cycle of an adult Japanese beetle is 30 to 45 days. So this is my first week of seeing them. So I'm gonna have a pretty long time trying to eradicate them. 
There's some of the ones that fell down here that I ended up squishing yesterday, which now I know better not to do. Um, they're just everywhere. They got into the flowers that I planted. This is when I first started to notice them because I noticed that they had ruined some of my zinnia plants, which is disappointing. Um, they also, my zinnia, def they desperately need water. Um, but I planted these from seed. These are actually one of the plants that I planted from seed that are actually going to come up. Um, and then they're also... Now we're going to get rid of a lot of the stuff that's over in this garden because it is a complete... I mean, it's like a jungle. <laughs> it's crazy. It's just too much to handle. Um, but there's also beetles all over here in this bush, which I actually wanted to save... There's two of them. I wanted to save at least one of the bushes, but here they are. They, they mate while they're on the leaves and they just like sit with their legs all splayed out. And I just really hate them. So this one's eating a flower too. So disappointing. I remember when I was a kid, the Japanese beetles would always be in my neighbor's pool. Which is funny now because my my neighbor has one of those little kid pools and my daughter's been going in it and we were talking the other day about how um, we had the Japanese beetles at my house and she said she hadn't seen any and then the next day she said she had some in her pool. So I've just been throwing them in this cup, which there are a lot in there, which I'll have to empty at some point, but you just soapy warm water in a cup and you're just going to pick them off of the plant and put them into the cup and that is how you're going to kill them. I made a couple notes. I'm just checking to see if I forget anything. Oh, one of the things I read is if you plant geraniums near problem spots where you have beetles, if they eat the geranium flower, it actually paralyzes them for 20 up to 24 hours so they will literally like lay on their back and they won't be able to move which beetles these Japanese beetles have a f only a few natural predators but birds will eat them so if you can get them paralyzed and on their back and then get some birds to eat them that would help your problem too um, so I have this water bottle I filled it with warm water and I put a lot of soap in it and I'm literally just gonna spray this on my plants and um, but before I do that I'm gonna take all the ones that I can see off and then I will spray them and hope that it will get rid of them because I just don't I don't know what else to do and hopefully they just go away and um, I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything else which I don't think I did um, oh females lay eggs every 24 to 48 hours so they can be laying a lot of eggs in their short lifespan of 30 to 45 days and I think that's it. So I'm just going to spray these and hope that I get rid of them. And um, if you've ever had this problem and you've had found a way that's helpful to get rid of them, let me know because maybe I'll try that too. Right. I had to go help my husband with something for his truck, but I came back and I think that I've gotten at least all the ones that are visible that I can see on this one um, archway trellis of mine. Um, I gave it a good shake and tried to just make sure that I got everything and now what I'm going to do is just come in and I'm going to just spray it with this soapy water. This isn't going to hurt the plant but it will, in theory, hurt the beetles if there's any left on there. Um, and it's, I'm not using any poison, it's literally just soap and water. So I hope it doesn't hurt the plant. Um, but it just, it looks like it's in such rough shape, like up here, it's just not looking good. It's really sad too because this is so beautiful. The leaves are just not looking good. So 
So hopefully by doing this, we can eradicate them and not see any more of them. I have to also go do this to the other bushes. Um, and then I have to water, which we still have not fixed our water situation in the back where my vegetable garden is. So I literally have to make trips back and forth with my watering can. And it's not fun. I'm thinking about maybe filling up some buckets. Not other way because it'll be too heavy, but just to, so I don't have to make so many trips. I really hope this works. I don't know how much you're supposed to spray. I don't think anything I read said. Probably just till it's wet. I don't know. Never done this before. Oh, what's that? There's another little guy, but he doesn't look like a Japanese beetle. He's going to have to die anyways, though. Is that terrible? This little guy. I don't know. He's going in the... He's going in the cup. Alright. I think that's good enough for now. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to spray my zinnia, too. I have not seen any more beetles on the zinnia. I wonder if, I wonder if me doing this is actually counteractive because I have to water these plants, so maybe I shouldn't be doing this yet. If I water them, is it just going to wash off all the soap? What is that? There's another little guy. He has to go too. Just anything's got to go. Also, I walked right past this arch and didn't show you guys how beautiful these clematis are. Aren't they gorgeous? These were not in bloom when we got here last summer, and this is absolutely beautiful. I have a bunch more that have started growing too. Alright, I'm going to set the camera down, and I'm going to try to get as many as I can from these other bushes, even though we might not be keeping them. I'm going to try to convince my husband that we should. Okay, I think I've done all I can. I got a lot of them off of the other bushes that I would like to save. Um, I know it's not going to completely, the beetles aren't going to completely kill the bush, but, you know, I'd still like it to look semi-decent, even though that whole corner of a flower bed over there is just a complete mess. I wouldn't even call it a flower bed at this point. Um, I never got to clean it out last year, and I won't get to it this year. It's just too much. Um, I'm almost caught up with all of the cleanup of the garden beds that I need to do. I still have one big one out front that's, I don't think I got to that one last year either, and a couple back out here. Oh my gosh. I see a ton more beetles. I just looked over on my holly, I have a hollyhock plant growing over here. <laughs> There's beetles all over it. I don't even like hollyhocks, but I don't want beetles on them. <laughs> so I guess I have to go get those two before I water. Oh boy. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Like I said, if you have any tips or tricks that you've done that have worked in the past, please let me know. Um, oh, I don't think I mentioned. So I was spraying the bush over there and I found a beetle that I, I missed. And I didn't have my cup at the, at the time, so I just sprayed it. It almost died instantly, so it seems to be working. Even just spraying them, if there's any left over that are on the bush, they're literally 
probably hundreds of beetles in this cup. It's disgusting. Um, and you can hear them moving around and it's really gross because not all of them are dead yet. Anyways, gross. I'm going to go get the beetles off of this hollyhock. And hopefully I don't find any more when I'm over there. And then I'm going to water. And I hope you guys have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you guys next time. Almost looks like he's waving. Little turd. He looks like he's waving too. They're taunting me. Oh my gosh. Oh look. They're on my rose bush too. I know they love rose bushes. Oh my gosh, they're all over them. Okay, time to stop recording and get to business.